Today we finished up section 1.2 um, in the student journal and we started at the bottom of page 10 with the horizontal stretches and shrinks. With the horizontal stretches and shrinks, the first thing you may notice is you're going to be multiplying your input of your x's by a value. So this is going to change the x first. Um, and one thing that you'll notice with horizontal is this is actually comparing to the y-axis. Okay? A stretch is actually stretching away from the y-axis and a shrink is actually stretching toward the x-axis is what it's going to look like visually. Okay? However, as far as our function, what we're going to be doing, and I actually disagree with the way they have it written up here a little bit, is we're going to multiply our x's by our value. Okay? Now they're going to give you a factor, but what you are actually going to multiply is you are going to multiply by the reciprocal of your factor. So I'm going to write that you're going to multiply by the reciprocal of A, and A will be the value or the factor that they give you. So for example, if you go to page 12 and look at problem number 8, okay? Number 8 says our original function was f of x equals 3x minus 9. And we are going to do a horizontal stretch by a factor of 6. This is your a value. And so we are actually going to multiply all of our x's by the reciprocal of that, or 1 over 6. So to get our new function, we're just going to call that g of x, we need to take our old function and multiply all of the x's by 1 over 6. And so what you're going to do is you're going to go to your old function, and any time you see an x, you're going to replace it with what? With 1 sixth x. So it will look like this. We'll have 3 times, but instead of just an x, we're going to have 1 sixth x, and then minus 9, and then you will just simplify from there. 3 times 1 sixth is 3 sixths, and that reduces to 1 half. And so our final answer will be 1 half x minus 9. The important thing is when it's horizontal, you multiply by the reciprocal of your a value. Okay. So if we look at problem number 9, our original function is f of x equals negative absolute value of 8x minus 4, and we're going to do a horizontal shrink by a factor of 1 fourth. So there's your a value. So since our a value is 1 fourth, we are actually going to multiply all of our x's by 4 over 1. And so to get our new function, we are going to take our old function and multiply all of the x's by 4 because that is the reciprocal of 1 fourth. And so this will look like this. It'll be negative absolute value of 8 times, but instead of just an x, I'm going to put in 4x, and then minus 4. And the only thing we can simplify is we can do 8 times 4, and our final answer will be negative absolute value of 32x, and then minus 4. Um, if you look at the vertical stretches, which is at the top of page 11, vertical stretches, there is no reciprocal. You are literally going to just take your a value that's given and multiply it by your entire function. You do not have to do the reciprocal. You just use the a value or the factor that's given. So now, to do a vertical change, we are multiplying our outputs or our whole function by the a value that we're given. So if you go back to page 12 and look at problem number 6. Problem number 6 says our original function is f of x equals negative 5x, and we're going to do a vertical shrink by a factor of 1 fifth. With vertical, you use the a as it's written. Okay? So to get our new function, we are going to take 1 fifth times our old function, which is going to look like this, 1 fifth times, and our old function was negative 5x. Well, 1 fifth times negative 5 gives you negative 1, and so your, origin, your new function is or g of x equals negative 1x. The same thing can be done with absolute value. If you look at number 7, if our original function is the absolute value of x plus 3 plus 2, we're going to stretch that vertically by a factor of 4. So again, there's your a value. So to get our new function, we're going to take 4 times our old function, which will look like this, 4 times, and then it's this entire function. And this is really going to be an example of the distributive property. Okay, now remember, we don't distribute through absolute value. What we are going to do is, it's almost like there's a 1 in front of it, and we will distribute to that, but you don't distribute inside the absolute value. So we'll do 
four times the absolute value of x plus 3 and then plus 8. And that is your new function with a vertical stretch.